Hello everyone, we are studying the anatomy of angiosperms and in anatomy of angiosperms, today we will be studying about the anatomy of a dicot root. If we cut a cross section of a root, which structures do we find? We find these structures. First of all, there is an epidermis in the root and the epidermis of the root is also called as epiblema. It has several unicellular hairs on it. And next epiblema, we have cortex, which is made up of parenchymatous cells, which are loosely packed. Means they, uh, they have large intercellular spaces in between them. The inner layer of the uh, cortex is called as endodermis. And what is special about endodermis, it is made up of compactly arranged cells, which are barrel shaped. Barrel shaped cells are there. And what is, uh, you know, if we cut a section of these uh, barrel shaped cells, we see there are polygonal cells which have thickenings on the radial walls. Thickenings like this, they have on the radial walls. This thickening is made up of a waxy uh, substance which is suberin. And this suberin is impermeable to water. Fine. And as a result, in these barrel shaped cells, several uh, strips are formed which are called as Casparian strips. Here I have shown the Casparian strips in green and here you can see in the individual barrel shaped cell the thickenings are there and these thickenings are called as Casparian strips. Fine, I hope this is clear to you. So you can see the Casparian strips, they are impermeable to water. They don't allow the passage of the water between them. So what happens when the roots absorb water and this water travels uh, from the cortex and it has to reach the xylem. So how does it reach the xylem when the Casparian strip, it is impermeable to water? So, for this, there are some cells in the endodermis which don't have these Casparian strips or thickenings. And these cells I have marked here in blue. Here you can see, and these cells are called as passage cells. So, water travels from these passage cells to the xylem. I hope this is clear to you. Now, what happens next is our layers of pericycle. Fine? This is the pericycle here. Fine. What is the job of the pericycle? It has two jobs. First of all, it forms the cambial cells. It forms the cambium which later on gives rise to secondary xylem and secondary phloem. Next job of pericycle is that the lateral roots originate from this. That is why we say that the lateral roots are endogenous in origin because they originate from the interior of the root. Fine. So, the layers of the layers of the pericycle, these uh, pericycle layers are also made up of parenchymatous cells. Next, we have the vascular bundles means xylem and phloem. Here you can see in light orange we have phloem bundles and in red we have the xylem bundles. Here you can say the arrangement of xylem and phloem is radial means that the xylem and phloem don't exist on the same radius. They are on the different radii. Here you see, phloem is here, xylem is here. They are alternate to one another. So you can say the, this arrangement is called as radial. Fine. So here you see phloem in orange and xylem in red. Now here you can say the condition of the xylem is exarch. The protoxylem is towards the out, is outside and metaxylem faces inside. Fine. Here you see the bigger ones. Metaxylem is bigger than the protoxylem. Protoxylem is facing outwards and metaxylem is facing inward. And this condition of xylem is called as exarch. Here you can see the cells here in the inter interior of this is called as pith. And let me tell you the pith in case of a dicot root is not well developed. I hope this is clear to you. Now let me tell you. Here are some cells which fill the spaces between the xylem and the phloem. Here you see the cells which are outside uh, the phloem or, or you can say they exist in between the xylem and the phloem. They are termed as the conjunctive tissue. I hope this is clear to you. Now let me show you the uh, TS of a steel of dicot root. Steel is xylem and phloem. Here you see 
This is endodermis, fine. And after endodermis, we have the layers of the pericycle. Then we have phloem here. And then we have the protoxylum facing outward and we have metaxylum. Metaxylum is bigger than the protoxylum. And in the center, we have the pith which is not well developed. I hope this is clear. Now, let me tell you there are some points which you should remember. Epidermis in case of roots is called epiblama. There is no hypodermis in dicot root. Only there is a parenchymatous cortex. Endoderms has strips of thickenings called as Casparian bands. Pericycle has two functions. Number one, formation of cambium, origin of lateral roots. And next is vascular bundles and radial, that is xylem and phloem, don't exist on the same radii. They exist on different radii. Xylem is exarch, means the metaxylem is uh, internal and the protoxylem is facing outside. Pith is not well developed. That's all about the uh, structure or in anatomy of the dicot root. Thank you so much.